Boy, you're cooking vibe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is M. R. You don't know this is cook and vibe. Yes, hot sauce available, restaurant open, and all these things. Today it's another mad one. Today we are cooking. We're digging a pit and cooking under the ground in the pit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, people, you don't know the thing set. Another crazy one, you get me? Yeah, man, we're gonna dig a pit in the ground. We're gonna fill it up with fire and we're gonna fill it up with jerk pork. Yes, we're doing jerk pork and there's a reason. I know not everyone's a fan of pork and I know, I know, but here go on. You have to remember, say, this is jerk chicken. Yeah, jerk chicken, man, it's a jerk chicken, you jerk pork, this is jerk. So, we have to get a look at history. Remember, I've done enough, enough episodes of me to tell you about the Maroons in Jamaica. The Maroons, which originally started the jerk, when they would dig a pit in the ground and then put the pork underneath the ground and then put the, 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 the seasoning on and everything and cook it underneath the ground to hide away from, you know, the people them. So they could just go on and do their thing themselves and they didn't have to answer to the people them. And they just cook their own food. You understand? If you, if you go back and look at the, um, the episode with Jamaica Food Boss, he was explaining how there was just a lot of wild hogs around that time there. So that's why pork was what they used first before chicken. So it was originally jerk pork before jerk chicken. I have given you this story before, but I choose to be digging a pit and we're doing jerk pork and I don't want to offend anybody. So people, if you don't like the pork thing, you're done though, just go on, enjoy the vibes, enjoy the digging the pit and doing that madness. You understand? Yeah, man, we're digging a pit today, people. Jerk pork, original maroon style, and we have the pimento wood and everything proper, authentic. Why are you? Oi! So we're using belly pork, people. Yeah, that's what we're using. We're using belly pork. And first of all, you don't know, we have to marinate with the Portland dry jerk seasoning rub before we put the wet seasoning on. You don't know the things that you got to do it the right way. Why oi! Yes, man. So we have to make the fresh jerk seasoning, people. You don't know the things set. Onion, I go in there. You get me? Garlic, I go in there. You get me? Nice piece of thyme, I go in there. Scotch bonnet, I go in there. You get me? Pimento seed. Holy oh, pimento seed in there. You see me? Yeah, man. Couple more things, some ginger and all them thing there. But I done show you how to make jerk seasoning already. So, why oi! You're done though, man's gonna make the seasoning and then we're gonna get busy digging the pit and making the fire. Why are you? Subscribe to my channel, please. Otherwise, you're gonna run out of electricity. Yeah, dry seasoning day, are people. You're done though now, the wet seasoning can just. Fresh. Yeah, marinated nicely, people. Like you can see the pimento and the fresh thyme we now bundled it all together so it just marinates all nicely together, you know what I'm saying? Why guy, let's get busy! Wood's important today, people. So you done know we've got the wood there, we've got kindling to get it going, and we've got our wood there. And also we've got our pimento wood in there. And you done know that's what we're gonna use for the flavour. You get me? So yeah, let's start building up this fire. Why oi! Now we've got this fire going and stuff. Get the bigger logs on there and get this fire blazing. And let's dig the pit anyway. Yeah, let's start digging the pit. That should be big enough still. Yeah. You're done though. We got our pit people. You see me? Over here. Fire a guan. Now we want to make this wood like coal. So I make that guan burn. You see me? 
pimento wood. All right, these ones have been used already. These ones need to soak. You get me? I need to soak in there so we can get the flavor and don't burn up the wood. So pimento wood soaking. Pit, dug, fire, a guan. Uh, hi. May I tell you, people, I thought I'd better dig a little bit more deep. This is hard graft. See what I'll do for you, look. <laughs> but I think now, yeah, look. Man, 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 like pewed on the camera. Big up, June, you're right. You can't talk, you know. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. oi it was funny the other day, we must have taken one chicken shop, people. Yeah. <laughs> and like the food mush up in belly. And uh, we get back to the yard now in belly, a earthy man, earthy man thing. And what Jamaicans will know, if you don't know, there's a Jamaican remedy. It's called Circe, it's a bush. You drink that Circe and it just clean out your inside. And Zimmy, so we get back, I said, Junior, all right, you guys drink some Circe tea, right? <laughs> we give the boy the Circe tea, we had tennis, so we've been within about four minutes, bro. Woof, everything lift up, in it, Junior? <laughs> Come on, Tennis. Everything lift up. Ten minutes later, him up. I feel a bit better again now. <laughs> Yeah, man, you can do a wrap with the Cersei. A real thing. So, yeah. Pit is dug here. Look at this, June. Yeah. We've gone a bit deeper. So, yeah. Whoop. I might put you in there, Pune. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, oi. Yes, people. So look, as you can see, young young junior, as you can see, the, 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 the wood is like, it's like coal now. You get me? So what we're going to do now is we're going to just start transferring this into the pit, which is obviously not the easiest thing to do in the world, people, but you know what I mean? So this. See it there? And we're just going to put some more in there and make some, get the fire going in there first, isn't it? Yeah. The sea people is steaming down in the pit. So we've got this, and I'm gonna put this down inside here. Yeah. All right, so we've got our first bit of grill. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna put the jerk pork onside this tray here, people. All right, why oi. Is with a pimento wood, All right? I'm just gonna kinda, place this in here and get that down there in the bottom all right people what we're going to do is we're going to cover up our pork in some foil because we don't want to get any dirt or nothing inside there so i want to pack this up and get this ready to put in there why are you people all right, now we're gonna put the pork inside there. You see me? We're gonna put a cover over it, people. Like so. And one. I've just got a few coals just to keep a little bit of heat. I'm gonna put a few more coals on there and then just cover it up some more. Yeah. Yes. So we're nearly there, people, because what we're gonna do is gonna leave a little gap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have to leave a little gap to let it breathe and make sure the smoke can come out a little little something like that is supposed to be good still you get me so that is us people oi 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 yeah food gone people 
And as you can see, there's just one lovely little hole of smoke just rising up from the ground to make you know, say, it's still a cook. It's a go on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Remember, said so the pimento wood is in there with the other wood. You get me? And it's all the, the jerk pork is seasoned up. Yeah. There was our pit, and you can see that you can just see it in the distance. And that's what I'm saying, yeah? yeah? Imagine if you was just trying to, like, just hide out and you, you wanted to cook some food. Imagine a barbecue smoke. Imagine how much smoke a barbecue. Look at that little piece of smoke there. Nobody, no, no, no. Nobody would know. Do you know what I'm saying? We're going to leave that for a good hour and a half. I'm not going to lie that he's not going to be done any quicker than at least an hour and a half. Yes, people, you don't know. Whilst we're waiting for it to cook, oh, hopefully it's gonna cook anyway. I oh, hope it's gonna cook, people. But I mean, we've left it in there for a good hour and a half. So we soon go check out what I want. But what I wanna tell you say is the brand new flavor. We've got the June Plum. June Plum Hot Sauce, people. It's a brand new flavor on the market now. You don't know, we still got the passion fruit and now we've got the June Plum. You get me proper, authentic Jamaican flavors. So make sure you get your hot sauce ASAP. The link is in the description below. Yeah, so I think it's a moment of truth, to be honest with you, people. Why, you know what I mean? It's time to go and dig up this piece of pork and see if it's cooked. Yeah, hopefully there was enough heat in there and hopefully it's a success. Do you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, uh, what it is, what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Hoi! People, don't forget to press the like button, get that algorithm going. Don't forget to share, otherwise it's just unfair. And don't forget to subscribe, otherwise your fingernails are going to go rusty. Hoi, hoi, people! So it's the moment of truth. We're going to dig up this food and see if it cooked. So get this, get this layer of dirt off of here. It's definitely been in there for a little while, man. A good, a good amount of time. Is there any? So, right now we got this layer here. All right. So if we can lift that up, there's the food right there. Why away, people? Let's see how we got on. Ho ho ho! Well, it's feeling warm. It's not feeling like greatly hot. So let's, let's have a look. Oh, come on, please, man. Please, work. It don't feel that hot, people. It feels warm, but it don't feel roasting hot. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Oh, it smells beautiful. Oh, look at that. Have a look. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Do you know what? I feel like it could be done a little bit more, but it's definitely cooked it. Yeah, look. You can see, like, ah, yeah, now it's hot, man. Yeah, look, he's cooked it, man. I think we just need a bit more just so the seasoning is going to stick to it. On the other side, it's looking like he's just cooked it on one side. But look, <laughs> yeah, it's cooked it to a certain degree. Sorry about the camera angle there. Our young junior's got the camera and he didn't realise he had the camera ran the wrong way at the main part of the video. <laughs> oh, gosh, man. It's all right, people, you see it. But yeah, like you see it now, yeah, it's cooked on our one side pretty much. We're just going to give that a little 10, 15 minutes and make that go on again, and that should be good to go. So, yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a success to me, because it's pretty much cooked. Do you know what I mean? And it was underground. So, yeah, look upon the pit, the man. Empty. <laughs> yeah. So, we are going to do a quick thing with this and cook it for an extra 10, 15 minutes. So, this is where we're at, people. We've turned the, 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 the bits over that haven't, didn't really cook so much on the other side. And we just got a little fire going in here. And we are just going bonnet up. Yeah, Zenny, and just cook it for the last 10, 15 minutes. 
We know so that enough probably cooking you know, a people. I just I like my seasoning to be nice and cooked on the meat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just giving it a nice smoke. But just keeping that smokiness in there, because obviously it I, I forgot to say that. When I opened it, it smelled really nice and that smoky smell. Do you know what I'm saying? So we just add into that. Yeah. Oi, oi. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day, people. Look, fun jerk pork, no man. Nah, yeah, we had to go through a couple uh, uh, situations there. We had to put it on the grill for 10, 15 minutes, but that don't matter. I feel like this was a success. I feel like a success. Now, look at it now, it's looking lovely. You can see where the smoke has gone into that. That color there is where the smoke is into it and it's just smelling really, really lovely. It's got that really smoky, smoky smell to it. Taste time. Why yoy, let's hopefully. It's got that smoke flavor. Like I say, I'm happy. I'm happy. Only needed a 10, 15 minutes more. I reckon you could have all ate it, people. In it? <laughs> Give me a like, man. Do the right thing. Hoi! Look at the plate of food, people. We have some rice and peas, and of course, we've got the hot sauce. Now, this one is the June plum, the new flavor, people. So make sure you get yours quick and fast, we've got, the, we've got the sauce there, we've got the rice and peas, we've got the jerk pork that's been cooked underground and on the grill. Do you know what I'm saying? What more can I do for you lot? I don't know, but just leave a comment in the comment section. Why? Taste time, you get me. First of all, we're gonna go in for this jerk pork. I'm gonna taste it without the hot sauce first. Hopefully it's got that smoky smoky. You can taste it. Definitely taste that pimento wood in there. Mmm. That's really good and cooked well. Mmm. Let's try a piece now with the hot sauce. Brings it alive. Nice crunchy bit there. Mmm. Rice and peas. Mm. That is a good meal. Yeah. Well, like I say, you don't know people. I think that was a success. You see me? Because you got to give me that one still. <clears throat> it was pretty much cooked. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you don't know people. Big up, Jackson. And um, see you next time. Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You don't know where I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Why, oi? You don't know, people. Welcome to the big up section. I hope you enjoyed today's crazy episode. I feel like it worked to a certain degree, you know what I'm saying? But maybe just put a little bit more heat down there if you do it yourself and leave for a bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, make sure you do the right thing, as we say always. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but yeah, just subscribe. We need it. We're nearly touching 40K. We need about 200 people. It's it's close. Do you know what I'm saying? And especially the like thing, it helps the video get in a good algorithm. It helps it get it moving quicker. So I don't want to keep repeating myself, but just do the right thing. You understand? So today's big up people. Big up Dean Richard Bennett. You get me? He says, you're doing big things, setting the path right, my guy. Give me a shout out. Done though. You got your shout out right there. Like I say, leave your comment in the comment section for your chance to get your big up in the big up section. And also big up LF. Says, love your grind. Big up M, smashing it as always. Needs more recognition for real. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. You get me? All we can do is keep working and keep doing the right thing because we now do the wrong thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So big up yourself, people. I see you on Sunday for another crazy episode of Cook and Vibe. Why are you?